Well, how's that work? Well, that's a huge, huge paint. Yeah, that's not happening. So I got these two things we're gonna look over today. Um, this is the Black & Decker BV6, or BV5600, as it were. It says speeds up to 250 miles an hour, which is pretty amazing. I highly doubt it does that, but whatever. 12 amp, high performance, corded, and 50% quieter. You can see a lot of the regular reviews onto YouTube there if you want, but this one's just going to be a quick uh, little deal. So what I'm going to use these for, uh, this is the BV006. You use it to, uh, it just comes out here, right? And go somewhere else so you don't have to carry the bag around. What I'm going to use this for is dumping a bunch of leaves because as you can see I have quite a few trees in and around where we're where we live here so I'm going to use this to fill the compost bin and if you use full-size leaves without shredding them uh, they tend to just mat into leaf mulch and they don't actually uh, break down into compost so yeah so I'll unbox it and we'll uh, get to the stuff that you guys are actually here to watch. Instruction manual. We don't need that. Collection bag. Oh, feels like pretty thick material. Oh, I don't know. That's kind of... I don't know if you can see that. Well, you can see through that. It's a little sketch. It's good though, because it'll make the air come through. Air will go through the mesh size, but the uh, leaf material will not. So we'll give that a thorough going through. It's the start of the hose. Hose. Nozzle, I mean. Da, 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 da. So the other side. Da, da. So I'm super excited for this because it'll end up back in the sonar, which is the shed of no return. And the sonar is filling up pretty good. So I figured it needed just a little bit more in there. So I bought this. Anyway, it's got this little uh, oscillating tip for the blower attachment. I do not plan to use the blower attachment whatsoever. But, you know, nice little novelty item. So instead of having to do this number with the blower, this thing does it for you. Kind of cool, I guess. There she is. So that's a lot lighter than I was anticipating. I thought it'd be a lot heavier, but I'm okay with lighter as long as it's got the power. As long as it has the power. The power! It should. The reviews say so. And you gotta believe everything you see on the internet, right? I can't remember how to take this off. Fan cover release. It would appear that there's some sort of lock in there. Man, do I need to get the manual out? Ugh. Okay, so it appears, as consulting the manual, 
You need a screwdriver. Oh, or some such deal. See? Press down on her. How about that? Comes right off. We got that going for us. Now, this looks relatively impressive. I suppose. I don't know. It's all kind of cheap, cheapo plastic. This is a cast aluminum part. Well, I've seen worse. Looks like it can do some damage, so. And then we fold this. Whoa, snaps in. Gotta appreciate the snapping sound. Okay, and then I'm assuming, yep, this can only go one way. There it is. Okay. Let's just try this right now. Whoa. Yowzers. So a lot of people online, the reviews said the hose was kind of chintzy, but... To me, that's pretty decent. So they got this attachment here. Ah, that's your external bag. So you can direct it to something in particular, like a garbage can. Put that over your garbage can, put that in there. We're not, I don't care. So I'm not gonna do that. So let's see if she just plugs right up, you think? I'm gonna guess not. But we'll see. Now she fits. Definitely did not plug right up. Oh! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Now we're cooking with peanut oil. Look at there! So then there's a little notch in here. Pop her on. Boom. Boom. All right, so. Well, that's different. Usually. Okay. I don't judge. I don't quite understand, but I don't judge. Okay, so let's try her. So that was on two, so now we'll try it on one.
So that was on one, so let's try the rest here on two. Okay, so here's our tube. This is my compost bin. Uh, I made it about a week ago. If you want to know more about that, I'm going to paint it and I'll describe how I made it and all that. But anyway, uh, I want my tube. So this is the end that's going to attach to our uh, shredder. So I want this end to come out back here. So what I'm going to do is just cut a small hole in my landscape fabric. It's about as dull as one knife can get, isn't it? Jeez. Ah, always cut away from you. Whatever. Uh, I'm just gonna wedge it out through there. And they're gonna hopefully shoot out into there. So what I can do is, later on, I can take the lawn tractor there with the lawn sweeper, right the yard, pull up right here, vacuum and shred everything into the compost bin. Or I can get, you know, leaves from neighbors or whatnot and put them in there so let's hook her up and see what happens okay we'll just go on two and shred all these up and i'll get full of Okay, so I have this that's supposed to go over a trash can, but what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to fit it here. Anyway, just to keep that down as I'm in here. Of course, normally I'm going to be back here, you know, which it has plenty of cord to get to that to get to that uh, lawn sweeper and what I might do is maybe put put a hole like in front here but I would like to stack the back better so So overall, I'm pretty impressed with uh, with this deal. Um, that pile of dry leaves there is actually what the bag contained from when I did it a little earlier. So that's a pretty decent amount uh, that it holds in there. It cleared a lot of land and or it cleared a lot of space, you know, uh, on the ground. It cleared the leaves off pretty well, so. I'm pretty happy with it. I think this is going to fill up quite a bit. As you can see, I've been just kind of spreading the leaves around with the lawn sweeper, trying to get them out of the yard. Uh, so this is going to be perfect. It's going to build soil for us, and we can put them in the garden beds, and we'll be good to go. So what I'm going to do is break this down, uh, just throw it in the box, just to make it easier, and then I'm going to put it in the sonar. The shed of no return. Well, how's that work? Well, that's a huge, huge pain. Yeah, that's not happening. 
Oh, the shed of no return. So we'll throw this, uh, yeah, that looks good. Yeah. So go up there somewhere too. That looks good. So the plan for this, there'll be another video later, but this is all getting redone. The, the framework in the shed is, is pretty pretty decent and the and the roof doesn't leak, right? So the only problem is it's, it's shifting a little bit. You can see a little cockeyed and then uh, the outside is that old, I don't even know what it is, asbestos board cement board so I'm gonna rip that off with T111 on there and recenter it up and it'll be good to go hope you enjoyed the video